Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. I'm going to show you two different ways to draw a box. This one probably looks better than this one. I drew this one by hand. Just to get the rectangle tool, hold down your control button, rotate that box 45 degrees, and then squash it up. Take your two-point line, start moving down, hold down your control button. Control D and make a duplicate of it. Grab that four point and have it snap to there. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Take your two point line again and go from that node to that. I didn't get it. It says edge. I need to go to node to node. The best way to do this is take the smart fill tool and fill in that shape and then nudge it over. Left click, right click and then take away these lines. I still have the Smart Fill tool picked. And then nudge this right back. Now here's kind of the trick, Control D and make a duplicate. While holding down the Control button, just move it over there and it, it becomes a perfect box that looks like it's 3D. Now you can do that, or you can hold down the Control button, make a perfect square, rotate it 45 degrees, Go to the shadow tool and underneath extrude, just extrude it out a little bit. And it's, you know, if once you play around with this, it works pretty well. It's uh, sometimes uh, you got to start over and kind of think about what you're doing. Let's extrude backwards. And, you know, it kind of looks like it's off, you know, kilter. But if you go right here and rotate it, you can see the actual box part. Now you can take this line and move it. Let's go back to the screw tool, grab that line and go up so it's not quite as much of a line. It doesn't really look real good, so let's rotate it some more. And with the lines, it kind of looks like it's almost backwards. But you can play around with it and do any kind of angle. And let's call that good. Now what you do have to do with this now is grab your pick tool. And it's a little bit off kilter. You could always rotate a little bit, whatever you want to do. Now go up to object and break the extrude group apart. And you do have to delete the interior lines. But there you have a 3D looking box. And you can play around with it and, you know, do it some more and rotate it any way you want. And then to put a text or something on it, what I would suggest is to take your Smart Fill tool, fill that in and nudge it over, left click, right click, go up to Effects and Contour, and just contour to the inside like 0.25. Can't really see what it did. That's a little bit, let's back up and go 0.1. That's good enough. Go up to object, break contour apart, and my smart fill tool. Now you've got it broken apart, grab that inside and move it over. So you've got, what you're gonna do, you're gonna write a word and put it inside there. And so let's just type in box make it a little bit bigger, kind of bring it into your subject. Go to object and perspective. If you have perspective, it's in later versions. But what the contour line does now is we can go straight to that contour. I wish I would have done a little research to find out with a perspective. You can do this with the envelope tool if you do not have perspective. Let's just do it. And but see, if you see what I'm talking about, that interior box um, allowed you to get right to that corner so you're not all the way to the edge. Now let's do that with the contour tool or with the um, envelope tool. Let's type in the same word, make it a little bit bigger. And then it would probably help to go ahead and rotate it closer to your item. Let's grab the envelope tool 
and we'll go, we'll, well, what we need to do first is we can take out these middle nodes. We do not need them. I'm just hitting delete, grab all these and right click and turn them into a line. And then it will not, I had them all selected. And we're not gonna use the contour part this time. We're just gonna get it close, but you can just kind of see. And I made a mistake. Really and truly, you probably need to have it just as the word looks like that. Don't, um, don't rotate it. But we're gonna go and right click, turn them into a line. Now unclick. So you can do the same thing with the uh, envelope tool, the perspective tool just is, is really kind of cool and easy. And then you could take away that interior box. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching.